Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. YouTube channel RTTV referred to the platform Dersim High of Western Armenia. The Karahunj people of Artsakh are not depressed. They continue to create in their homeland. Shamshik Studio restored the culture of wealth of our Western Armenia, Armenian national dress, Daras. The oldest newspaper published in Constantinople is in Armenian language. As a result of Baku's aggression, 91,000 people were deported, Armen Gazarian in the UN Council. The Turkish language newspaper mentioned Armenian heroes Andranik, Leonid Azganjan, and Monte Melkonyan. Objects of the ancient times were found in Nerkin Getashen. Websites and Tung, pedagogical sources of Western Armenian language. The RTTV channel on YouTube conducted an interview with a member of the Dersim High platform, Arek Kara, who during the conversation talked about the activities of their organization, plans for the future, and the main goal of the Dersim High platform. As we wrote earlier, the platform is engaged in the various work to turn the economic and social life of the Armenian residents of Western Armenia into a more colorful and meaningful one, including with the assistance of the business. As you can see, the activity of Dersim High platform finds a wide response not only in occupied Western Armenia but also claims to expand and gather like-minded people from all over the world. The Karahunj community of Artsakh's Martini region had 107 residents. The head of the community, Artsakh Aramanyan, told Artsakh Press, After the 44-day Artsakh war, one family from Berzor settled in our village. The family has recently received support from the International Committee of the Red Cross Artsakh Office. We have four vacant houses, which after renovation will be provided to our displaced compatriots. The school building needs renovation. Twelve students attend the school. We don't have a kindergarten. The number of preschool children is small. Karahunj is gasified, provided with electricity and water supply. There is a problem with the integration water in the village, said the head of the community. Referring to the employment of the villagers of the past war period, Garamanyan said that 70% of the village's land have passed under enemy control, but the villagers are not depressed and continue to create in their homeland. They are mainly engaged in cattle breeding and agriculture. On Western Armenia TV, the founder of Shamshing Fashion Studio, Anna Avedisyan, presented the origin and history of traditional Armenian dress, Taras, noting that Taras was worn as everyday clothes in different regions of Western Armenia. The national dresses differed from each other in shape, size, fabric quality, colors, etc. In Sasun, they mostly wore suits made of silk fabric with an open color combination, an integral part of which was the skin of sheep, taking into account also that the territory is mountainous and colder. Vasburakan and Maraj stood out in the most luxurious outfits that were unique patterns. Anna Vedisan also addressed the current trends in the presentation of traditional outfits, noting that she also took a step in this area by restoring the customs of Van Vasburakan, Maraj and other regions and their ornaments presenting them to the world in a new way. The newspaper Jamanak published in Constantinople is the oldest Armenian newspaper, which has been continuously published for 114 years. As the chief editor of the newspaper Ara Gochunyan notes, the newspaper administration wants to go in accordance with the modern information environment, and for this, it is necessary to prepare, which also requires financial resources. The newspaper has an official website as well as the presence on social networks. Part of the activity is also the publication of books. That is, it is not only a sheet, but also a multifunctional structure. The newspaper covers in detail the events about the rights of the Armenians of occupied Western Armenia, relations with the state, and also publishes articles concerning the Republic of Armenia. For those who also communicate in Western Armenian language, the absence of the newspaper Jamanak is a demoralizing circumstance, since for them it is solid support in the field of the press. Head of the Immigration Service Armen Gazarian took part in 112th online meeting of the Council of International Organization for Migration UN on the topic The Impact of COVID-19 on Borders Migration and Mobility, Learning Lessons and Preparing for the Future. The meeting was held in Geneva and dedicated to the 17th anniversary of the organization. Last year was full of challenges for us, not only because the war caused the convention, but also against Artsakh, and least by Azerbaijan, which threatened not only global peace and security, but also caused the humanitarian crisis and mass deportation. Ghazadan noted that as a result of the aggression, more than 91,000 people were deported, 88% of whom were women and children. 
Nubaru Zanyan, a journalist of Yeni Ozgur Politika newspaper, in Occupied Western Armenia published an extensive article in which he touched upon the heroes who distinguished themselves by their patriotism and heroism in the liberation struggle for the Armenian people and left a mark in a history, such as Zahbur Serov, Andranik Ozanyan, Gevork Chavush, Sose Maidik, the immoral heroes of Artsakh Bar, Leonid Azgaldian, and Monte Melkonyan. Without distinguishing from each other, the journalist with special admiration emphasizes the great Armenian soul that unites them all, which is impossible to defeat or bring in its needs, and which is inherent only to real Armenian brave men. At the end of the article, the author quotes the words of Leonid Asgadian, I will die under the walls of Istanbul. Weapons, glove items, and other materials found during the excavation on the Muslim Demer in the villages of Nerkin Getashen in Gerarkunik region of the Republic of Armenia were transferred to GNO, Service for the Protection of the Historical Environment and Historical and Cultural Museum Reserves. According to the head of the archaeological expedition, Ashot Piliposyan, excavation were carried out in more than 40 tombs. According to the archaeologists, the tombs dated from different periods, from the early period of Middle Bronze Age to the era of widespread iron. That is, the tomb has been used periodically from about 1,500 years. The archaeologists noted that since the 3rd millennium BC, the Armenian highlands have always been densely populated, and the excavated material showed that Lake Sevan, the Ararat Valley, Bartzer Haik and Lake Van were part of the historical and cultural community. The Zantung website went to camp in order to collect various sources, materials, programs and tools from Western Armenians and make them available. Having found in the Armenian branch of Galust Kilmpenkian Institution, on the basis of the based and experienced pedagogical approaches taken to give impetus to the development of the Western Armenian language, Zantung wants to create an entire Armenian-speaking universe that serves to teach the language, but nevertheless, the children and youth are beyond young adults during friendly years, putting before them a world with different faces. You can find out more at the following link below. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song Ejmiadzin. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.